Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. This report delves into the heart of the crisis, shedding light on the escalating tensions, the severe humanitarian consequences, the looming possibility of a ground invasion, and the complex dynamics that continue to define one of the world's most enduring and challenging conflicts. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken delivered a resolute pledge of American support to Israel on Thursday, even as the Israeli military continued its relentless barrage of airstrikes on the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip, while simultaneously preparing for the possibility of a ground incursion. As the Palestinian population desperately sought provisions amidst dwindling supplies, Israel adamantly declared that no aid would enter Gaza until approximately 150 hostages seized by Hamas during a weekend assault were released. International humanitarian organizations sounded the alarm, warning of an escalating crisis in Gaza after Israel halted the delivery of essential supplies, including food, water, fuel, and electricity, to the enclave's 2.3 million residents and barred the entry of relief goods from Egypt. This ongoing conflict has already exacted a staggering toll, claiming the lives of at least 2,700 individuals on both sides. Israeli Energy Minister Israel Katz, unyielding in his stance, proclaimed on social media, not a single electricity switch will be flipped on, not a single faucet will be turned on, and not a single fuel truck will enter until the Israeli hostages are returned home. Lieutenant Colonel Richard Hecht, a spokesperson for the Israeli military disclosed to reporters on Thursday that forces were actively preparing for a ground maneuver if instructed by political leaders. A ground offensive in the densely populated Gaza Strip, a narrow stretch of land spanning only 40 kilometers, 25 miles in length, would undoubtedly result in increased casualties on both sides as it would necessitate brutal house-to-house -house combat. Simultaneously, as Israel continued its aerial bombardment of Gaza, Hamas militants fired thousands of rockets into Israeli territory. Fears mounted that the conflict could further escalate in the region, with reports from Syrian state media indicating Israeli airstrikes on international airports in Damascus and Aleppo, rendering them inoperative. Amidst the backdrop of the tumultuous conflict, Palestinians in Gaza were observed frantically fleeing airstrikes, clutching their belongings as they sought refuge. By Wednesday night, the number of displaced individuals had reached a staggering 340,000 people, constituting approximately 15 percent of Gaza's entire population. Many sought shelter in UN-run schools, while others relied on the hospitality of relatives and even strangers who offered sanctuary. Scenes of lengthy queues outside bakeries and grocery stores during their limited hours of operation became a poignant testament to the people's determination to secure essential supplies before their stocks depleted entirely. On Wednesday, Gaza's sole power station exhausted its fuel reserves, plunging the enclave into darkness with only sporadic private generators providing feeble illumination. Meanwhile, hospitals, inundated with a constant stream of wounded patients and rapidly depleting medical supplies, teetered on the brink of catastrophe. Aid officials warned that they possessed only a few days' worth of fuel before power shortages would compromise their operations. This situation, exacerbated by the power cutoff, had dire consequences for over 650,000 people in Gaza, resulting in a critical shortage of potable water, as noted by the UN Fabrizio Carboni, regional director of the International Committee of the Red Cross, sounded the alarm, stating, Without electricity, hospitals risk turning into morgues. Newborns in incubators and elderly patients on oxygen are at risk. Kidney dialysis stops and x-rays can't be taken. 
With Israel sealing off access to Gaza, the sole point of entry and exit remains the Rafah border crossing with Egypt. Egypt's foreign ministry maintained that Rafah had not officially closed, but airstrikes had rendered it inoperative. Egypt had been attempting to persuade Israel and the United States to permit the delivery of aid and fuel through Rafah. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, in the midst of intense public grief and calls for retribution, made an unwavering commitment to crush Hamas in response to their incursion into southern Israel. Netanyahu alleged a litany of atrocities committed by Hamas, including the beheading of soldiers and the rape of women, though these allegations could not be independently verified. Consequently, the Israeli government is confronting immense pressure to dismantle Hamas rather than merely containing it in Gaza, a goal that has eluded them in four prior conflicts. Israel's extensive mobilization involving 360,000 reservists, the concentration of additional forces near Gaza, and the evacuation of tens of thousands of residents from nearby communities reflects their determination to achieve this objective. A newly established war cabinet, which includes a long-standing opposition politician, now orchestrates the ongoing military campaign. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's visit to the region underscored unwavering American support for Israel's retaliatory actions. Blinken declared, You may be strong enough on your own to defend yourselves, but as long as America exists, you will never have to. We will always be there by your side. Blinken is scheduled to meet with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and Jordan's King Abdullah II on Friday. However, the prospects for peace negotiations remain dim, with the Israeli-Palestinian conflict enduring for decades and no substantial talks having occurred in over 10 years. In the besieged Gaza Strip, the Israeli military reported conducting overnight strikes targeting Hamas's elite Nukba forces, including their command centers and the residence of a senior Hamas naval operative suspected of housing undisclosed weaponry. Additionally, airstrikes resulted in the deaths of commanders from two smaller militant groups, according to media linked to these organizations. Lieutenant Colonel Hecht, the military spokesperson, affirmed their current focus on eliminating the senior leadership of Hamas, encompassing both its military and governmental echelons, culminating with top Hamas leader Yehia Sinwar. Drone footage captured by the Associated Press starkly revealed the extensive devastation inflicted on the Shadi refugee camp in northern Gaza due to overnight airstrikes. Amidst the ruins, residents navigated the debris while fire and rescue teams sought survivors. While Israel maintains it issues warnings prior to its strikes, it has adopted a new strategy of leveling entire neighborhoods rather than targeting individual buildings. Heck contended that targeting decisions were made based on intelligence, with civilian populations given advance notice. However, Palestinians contend that some individuals are unable to flee or have nowhere to escape, resulting in entire families being buried under rubble. Reports emerged of Israeli leaflets instructing residents to evacuate areas after heavy bombardment, but in some cases, the warnings came too late. The toll on human life and infrastructure remains grim. At least 1,000 homes have been reduced to rubble, rendering an additional 560 structures uninhabitable, according to the UN. In the West Bank, the Palestinian Health Ministry reported two Palestinians killed on Thursday during a funeral for three individuals who had lost their lives in a settler rampage a day earlier. Disturbing footage depicted Jewish settlers swerving their cars into the funeral procession, blocking the road and subsequently opening fire. The health ministry disclosed that over two dozen Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank, with an additional two casualties in Israeli-annexed East Jerusalem since Saturday, with many of these deaths resulting from confrontations between Palestinians and Israeli forces. In Gaza, the Palestinian health ministry reported the death toll surpassing 1,400, while the Israeli military cited over 1,300 casualties on their side a grim toll unseen since the 1973 war with Egypt and Syria, lasting for weeks. 
Thousands of individuals have sustained injuries on both sides, and Israel has asserted that approximately 1,500 Hamas militants were killed within its territory. Thank you for staying tuned to this crucial update on the intensifying Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Your commitment to staying informed is deeply appreciated. To receive more insightful content on pressing global matters, please subscribe to our channel or website. This comprehensive report has been brought to you by Quiet Please, your source for in-depth and thought-provoking news coverage. We remain dedicated to delivering accurate and timely information, ensuring that you stay informed about the world's most critical events. Thank you for your attention, and we look forward to keeping you informed in the future. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.